What's good guys? Today I'm going to see a chiropractor because my neck has been hurting for about a week or two weeks now. So I'm just going to bring you along and show you what it's like to be treated by a chiropractor. As I'm making my way to the chiro right now, I just want to tell you guys that I'll be talking a little bit about the differences between a chiro and a physiotherapist later on. Um, I always get the question as a coach like, oh I feel a little bit of pain here or discomfort here, who should I see? Which one's better, a chiro or a physio? I have some opinions on that and I'll share with you guys after I get treated. There are seriously too many tolls here in Malaysia. <laughs> So this is where you wait before you go through that door to go get treated and this is usually where you change as well so if you're a girl you change to that but I'm a guy so I was doing um, split jerks because when I wrecked then I felt like the pressure pulled down okay. and I felt like the tension here yeah. I'm really tense I have to one side yeah. okay, but stop <laughs> move your neck all the way up yeah when I go up there's like pressure behind me also pressure alright that is alright but I do feel like I pull so like, okay. like, yeah, it cannot turn at all. Yeah. See that? I feel like this side is like sunken down. Mm -hmm. So if I pull it like this, then it's comfortable. We just got done and as I expected, um, my shoulder did move, my clavicle here, this collarbone did move out of place and that's why I've been feeling so much discomfort and also a little bit of my mid back uh, moved out of place. I'm feeling a lot better now, um, range of motion has improved, I'm still feeling a little bit of tension, I got a little bit of a massage uh, from one of the physiotherapists just now and that's helped me a little bit as well and I think I'll just keep on working on my musculature and that should give me uh, a quicker recovery. So I'm back now and I'm feeling a lot better and let's just go straight into the question. So as a viewer, I just want you to keep in mind that I'm a fitness coach, I'm not a chiro, I'm not a physio, right? So do take this as truth, do take this as half truth, take this as complete non-truth, it's entirely up to you to judge. This is my own opinion and this is my own experience of how I fix and how I dealt with my injuries and discomforts. So. I've had a couple of injuries. Uh, right now, my neck's pretty messed up. I've had a mid-back injury um, from doing a back clean and jerk. I've had wrist injury from doing pull-ups. I've had knee pain from squatting a lot. And how I dealt with them and how I fixed them and how I did my prehab for them is by going to see a chiro and a physio. The main question that I always get is like, which is better? Which should I see, a chiro or a physio? And what do they do? So in, in general, a chiro is more towards your bones. So they manipulate your bone joints um, to align them and give you pain-free movement. And for physios, they work on your muscles. Whether it's to strengthen, to activate sleeping muscles, or to fix muscle imbalances, that's mostly a physio's job, right? So bones, chiro, muscles, physio. Coming back to the main question of which is better. I feel like both are needed. And the reason why I say this is because a lot of people like to separate the two. Um, practitioners and also consumers, they like to separate the two. I do know practitioners that always talk about um, other practitioners that are not doing physio, um, how that, you know, physio can do that job, why do you need to go and see that person? Or vice versa, Cairo saying, you know, I can do the job and get you pain free, why do you need to see a physio? So that's a little bit contradicting, there's a little bit of conflict there. And I personally don't like that because from my own experience, both are needed. So let me justify why I say that. So I've had a hip injury and I want to use that as an example. Because how I got my hip injury was I was sitting on my laptop doing my work, right? Just doing my work, sitting there. And I got up, I walked up to get some food and suddenly I had a sharp pain in my hip. 
right just my hip joint and I just couldn't walk I was limping I was literally limping for like a day so the next day I called up my Cairo I was like hey I'm having pain can I come in came in she was like your hips out of place it's so out of place so she pushed it back um, it felt better it actually got better to the point where it was almost 100% but I knew because of the way that I got it I knew that was there was something that was up I knew that I was either moving really wrong or that I was having a lot of muscle imbalances that caused it to become like a ticking time bomb where you don't feel anything until a certain point where it clicks and then you get this pain. So I called my physio, I went over and I was like, I really need you to find the imbalances that are in my body. I need you to find what's causing this and why I'm having these issues of like a ticking time bomb inside my body just waiting to snap, waiting to cause pain to my body. So I did that and Sure enough, my right side was all tight, like my lat, my QL, my hip flexors, it was all really tight, especially when you do CrossFit, when you have so much repetition and you have these tiny little imbalances around and you're doing the same thing over and over and over and over again, your, imb your imbalances will slowly get bigger and bigger and that will cause you to have pain in the future. So really taking into account and having the awareness to fix these things before it causes you pain is very important. And another reason why I say this is because your muscles and bones are integrated. You know, no matter how much you want to separate it, they're integrated, right? And it can be a chicken and egg situation here. You can either have uh, a weak structure integrity, right? Meaning your bones are misaligned already and you're doing exercise that have a lot of high impact. And because of this um, misalignment, your body starts to create imbalances to compensate. Right, and then you feel tightness. You try to massage it and roll it out and it doesn't work and then you go see a physio to release it and that's great because it does work but then the root issue is not fixed. You know, Your structure integrity is not fixed yet. You don't have that structure integrity to build your muscle upon and then it's just going to keep reoccurring. On the other hand, if you have strong structure integrity but then you have tight muscles right, and you don't work on your muscles and you keep overusing them, first you're going to cause muscle damage, right? you're going to have tightness, you're going to pull something, but then you're also going to start causing stress in your structure integrity because you're overusing it in a certain way, right? and that may cause misalignment. So I feel like both are needed. You need to fix the structure, and then you also need to fix the muscles and the imbalances that are causing the pain, the tightness, and all those sort of things. Right, and that's for me the best way that I've done my prehab and that's the best way for me to fix my injuries and if you do one or the other it can work but when you put the two together it's potent it's it's super effective to the point where I know that I will get better so I feel like the two merged together is something that's important for athletes especially CrossFit athletes or athletes that use a lot of weight it's very important to do your daily maintenance, which is like your foam rolling, your stretching, your warm-ups, your cool-downs, your every like monthly maintenance where you go and see your chiro, see your physio, and also when you get injured deathly, just don't, don't just rest, be active about injuries. I feel like some people when they get injured, they are very passive about it, right? But I do encourage you to be active about it, so when you get injured, go see someone to fix it, and then that definitely accelerates the process of recovering. Right? So like I said, all this is just my opinion and my own experience. And remember guys, always train hard and move well.